Hallelujah. How many knows it's great to be back into the house of the Lord? Hallelujah. I tell you what, he's a great God. He's greatly to be praised. First, one thing we came to do tonight, we came to delight ourselves in Jesus. You know that? I want to tell you, I know the psalmist, and I've quoted this several times. He said, if the Lord had not been on our side. And I want to tell you something. Can you remember a time? even when you was a sinner, Brother Ronnie, that the Lord wasn't on your side. I've never known of a time I couldn't find me a place to pray. You know what? And I've seen the horrors of the trap. I've seen, you know, the, the snare of the fowler. I've seen the horrors of the trap. I've seen people destroyed. But you know what? God spared me. There's a lot of traps out there in the world that will get you. You know that? There's divorce and there's drugs and there's all kinds of traps that the devil set for people. And, and it's a snare and it, and it brings them down. But you know what? God has spared every one of us from a fate that we, you know what? We deserved a fate like that. But God has spared us. And not only that, but he's gave us a good life. He said, I come that you may have life and have it more abundantly. And then he gave us a great church to go to that we could gather together on a Wednesday night and delight ourselves in the Spirit of the Lord. How many feels the Spirit of the Lord in the house tonight? Hallelujah. It's a privilege to be back in the house of the Lord. I tell you what, at this time, let's raise our hands towards heaven and let's just welcome the King of Kings into our midst. Let's just worship him tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory. great big hand clap of praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You can be seated. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. At this time, if the offering takers would make their way to the front, Sister Rachel, would you like to come and sing tonight? Come on up front if you'd like. The devil's still fighting my voice, so I still don't have a singing voice. But I just want to tell you all about the experience that we had Easter morning. We were gone on vacation. We went to the beach, and there's a pier down there that we go to. And they had sunrise service on the pier you know it really impressed me because you know we come to church and there's I don't know 50 75 people here sometimes 100 150 there must have been at least 300 people there or more they they came some of them dressed in their pajamas with a blanket wrapped around them some of them dressed up like they were going to church I mean, their makeup and their hair and everything done. But, you know, they all came because it was to worship God, to worship Jesus raising. And as we couldn't see because, of course, the pier is flat, they had the speakers set up and everything, and I'm sure there was a preacher up there, two or three. We could hear them, and they sang, and we could hear them, but we couldn't see them. But as the sun was coming up, he was telling about the blood that was shed for us and about the body that was broken for us. And it, it was just amazing to be in the middle of all those people and know that they were there that early in the morning just simply because Jesus died for us and he rose from the dead. Then we found out later that two miles down the road, they'd had a, a sunrise service, and there was about that many there. On down in Tybee Island, down in uh, Savannah, Georgia, they'd had a sunrise service. They'd had one up north of us. And it's just awesome to think. You know, I think a lot of times us Christians think we're kind of a minority. But when you go to a place like that and you see all those people there, you know you're really not a minority. You're, you're part of a big family of God. And it just really impressed me. And I just wanted to share that. Amen. 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 Brother Austin, would you like to sing before we take up the offering? Give him a hand clap. Hallelujah. This song goes out to Brother Jason Popwell. Well, Jesus is with me when the storm clouds gather. He's standing by my side when I hear the thunder roll. He holds my head when I begin to tremble. When the winds of this world are blowing strong. See, Jesus is a fence around his children. And his grace is sufficient to stand the storm. And his word is a promise we can stand on. When the winds of this world are blowing strong I know that Jesus is with me When the storm clouds gather He's standing by my side When I hear the thunder roll He holds my head When I begin to tremble When the winds of this world are blowing strong See, Satan is moving To throw throughout this land Seeking out who he may devour but he was defeated at Golgotha that day when Jesus made him out of iron I know that Jesus is with me when the storm clouds gather he's standing on my side when I hear the thunder roll he holds my head when I begin to tremble when the winds of this world they are blowing strong Jesus is with me when the storm clouds gather. He's standing by my side when I hear the thunder roll. He holds my head when I begin to tremble. When the winds of this world they blow it strong. See, Satan is always. 
sneaking around the gate, oh, yes. trying to lead a sheep astray. But he that is in us is so, so much, much greater, greater than him, so rebuke him and chase him away. I know that Jesus is with me when the storm clouds gather. He's standing by my side when I hear the thunder roll. He holds my head. Jesus is with me when the storm clouds gather. He's standing by my side when I hear the thunder roll. He holds my head when I begin to tremble. When the winds of this world are blowing strong. Jesus is a fence around his children. Oh, yes, he is. His grace is sufficient to stand the storm. Promise we can stand on. For oh, when the, the winds wind of this world are blowing strong, I know that Jesus is with me when the storm clouds gather. He's standing up on my side when I hear the thunder roll. He holds my head when I begin to tremble. When the winds of this world are blowing strong, Hallelujah. see Satan oh, yeah. is moving. To throw throughout this land, or seeking out whom he may devour. Oh, yeah. But he was defeated he was at Golgotha. Oh, he's defeated. That day when Jesus he made him out alive. alive. Yes, I know that Jesus, Jesus is with me when the storm clouds gather. He's standing by my side when I hear the thunder roll. He holds my head when I begin to tremble. When the winds of this world are blowing strong, I said that Jesus is with me when the storm clouds gather. He's standing by my side when I hear the thunder roll. He holds my hand when I begin to tremble. When the winds of this world are blowing strong, I know that Jesus is with me when the storm clouds gather. He's standing by my side. He holds my head when I begin to tremble when the winds of this world are blowing strong. Oh, when the winds of this world are blowing strong. Oh, yeah. yeah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Well, Jesus is a fence around He's his children. Yeah, yeah. And his grace, it's a sufficient to stand the storm. Oh, yeah. And his word. It's a promise it's a we can promise. stand on when the strong on. winds of this world are blowing strong. Hallelujah. See, Satan is always sneaking around the gate oh, yeah. or trying to lead God's children astray. Oh, yeah. But he that is in us is so much greater than him. Oh, yeah. So rebuke him and chase him away. Well, Jesus is with me when the storm clouds get. He's standing on my side when I hear the thunder roll. He holds my head when I begin to tremble. When the winds of this world are blowing strong. I said that Jesus is with me when the storm clouds gather. He's standing up on my side when I hear the thunder roll. He holds my head. This land was seeking out who he may devour. But he was defeated at Golgotha. He was defeated. That oh, day yes, when Jesus yes, made yes, him yes, out a liar. Yes. I, know I know that Jesus is with me when the storm clouds gather. He's standing by my side when I hear the thunder roll. He holds my hand when I begin to tremble. When the wind Trim. When I begin to trim.
when the winds when of this wind world are blowing strong, oh, are blowing strong. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, he goes with me when the storm oh, clouds yeah. He's standing up on my side when I hear the thunder roll. He holds my head when I begin to tremble when the winds of this world are blowing strong. Jesus is with you tonight. Hallelujah. Jesus is with me when no storm clouds gather. He's standing up by my side. I hear the thunder roll. He holds my hand. When I begin to tremble. One more time. When the winds of this world are blowing strong. I said that Jesus is with me when the storm clouds gather. He's standing up by my side. When I hear the thunder roll. He holds my hand. When the winds of this world are blowing strong, he holds my head. When I begin to tremble, when the winds of this world are blowing strong, oh, he holds my head. Yes, he does. Hallelujah, hallelujah. 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 His name is Jesus. Hallelujah. The Bible says that the name of the Lord is a strong tower, and the righteous run into it and are safe. You know that? It don't matter what wind blows. You know what? It don't matter what disease. It really don't. The, the, the healing was paid for at Calvary. You know that? Blood, the blood that came down his back, it was all paid for at Calvary. It's all about Jesus tonight. He said he'd never leave us. He said he'd never forsake us. We don't got to face it all by ourselves. Come on, come on. How many knows that Jesus is with us tonight? Hallelujah. Give him a great big hand clap of praise. Well, Jesus is a fence around his children. Sing it one more time. Love him, church. His grace is it's sufficient to stand the storm. His word is a promise we can stand on. When the winds of this world are always strong. When Jesus is with me, when the storm clouds gather, He's standing up by my side. When I hear the thunder roll, He holds my head. When I begin to tremble, when the winds of this world are blowing strong. Well, Jesus is with me when the storm clouds gather. He's standing up by my side. When I hear the thunder roll, He holds my head. When the winds of this world are blowing strong When the winds of this world are blowing strong Well, Jesus holds my head Hallelujah Hallelujah Let's give Jesus a great big hand clap Hallelujah Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Excited yes. to be in church Hallelujah yes. I'll tell you one thing we can learn from Job and that's one thing we can learn from old Job. The devil is not in control. You know that? The devil didn't, the devil can't sit, he can't do it. You know what? He's not in control. He had permission. And I want to tell you something. I, I love the Lord tonight. And I don't know what life holds for me and what I've got to face, but I want to be like the three Hebrew boys. I want to tell you, I want to go, I want to serve God. And in, in, when I'm looking at the end, I want to serve God. You know that? They were looking, they were looking to be destroyed. They were looking to be burned, you know. And on the way to the on the way to the furnace, they watched those soldiers die. Yeah. You know that on the way to the furnace, yeah. they already suffered intimidation from Nebuchadnezzar. And on the way to the furnace, they watched those soldiers die. Yes. And you know what they did? They said, "It don't matter what happens to me. What matters is my relationship with Jesus." And I want to tell you something. I wouldn't jeopardize that. I wouldn't turn back Thank because God. He's been too good to me. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. 
Hallelujah. Let's give the Lord one more hand clap of praise. Hallelujah. At this time, let's let's give Sister Jean Keith a great big hand as she sings, testifies. Her journey has been long. Oftentimes she's grown weary, and it seemed many times there was no way she could stand. But she built on that rock. She has a firm foundation She'll go marching up to glory When that final trumpet sounds Well, who is this that I see coming? Out of the wilderness She's dressed in robes of white Leaning on her beloved Who is this that I see coming? Out of the wilderness It's a church, the bride of Christ And her groom She's been through the fire she oh, has yeah. been through the blood, but she could not be drowned. She has been persecuted, and my loved ones all forsaken. Yes, she keeps pressing onward, guided by an unseen hand. Well, who is this that I see coming out of the wilderness? She's dressed in robes of white, leaning on her beloved. Who is this that I see coming? No way she could stand, but she still yeah. on that rock, yeah. and she has a firm foundation. She'll go marching up to glory when that final trumpet sounds. Well, who is this that I see coming out of the wilderness? She's dressed in robes of white, leaning on her beloved. Who is this that I see coming out of the wilderness? It's the church, the bride of Christ. She's been through the fire, but the flames, they could not burn her. She has been through the flood, but she could not be drowned. She has been persecuted, and my loved ones all forsaken. Yes, she keeps pressing on work, guided by that unseen hand. Well, who is this that I see coming out of the wilderness? She's dressed in robes of white. Leaning on her beloved, who is this that I see coming out of the wilderness? It's a church, proud of rock, and her groom. That's victory tonight. You know, we may be persecuted, we and, and we will be put in the fire. But it's as I told him other night, I know whose hands on that thermostat. He, the, the devil don't control that thermostat. He, he, might ha he might have you thrown in the fire, but Jesus controls that thermostat. And I just praise him tonight that, that we're the bride. We're the bride leaning on our beloved tonight. And you know what we're going to do? We're coming forth. Coming forth, shining, shining, shining like Jesus. And I just appreciate the Lord tonight. What an awesome service it's already been. The sweet presence of the Lord. You know, God, it don't... God can move by many or he can move by few. It doesn't take, all it takes is when we come together, that one mind, Hallelujah. we get in that one accord and we come together to worship him, to love him and to adore him. He'll be there. He'll come in the midst and he's here tonight. And I just glorify Jesus. He's been so good to me. Hallelujah. 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 Let's stand to our feet one more time and give Jesus a great big cheer. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Like Sister Jean said, it's an awesome Wednesday night service. You know what? We have had an awesome worship service. How many of you felt the Spirit of the Lord here tonight? Yes. I tell you what, the best is yet to come. Any, anytime we get an opportunity to sit under the pastor and listen to that bread of life be broke, we can take that word, and you know that word? He sent forth his word, and he healed them. You know that? That word, is that, that's what it's really all about. I tell you what, at this time, help me make welcome our pastor, Pastor Wayne Keith, give him a great hand. Let's give the Lord a big praise. Come on, give the Lord a praise tonight. Amen. 
I know he's an awesome God tonight. Amen. I was supposed to be preaching tonight. I had evangelists, but it didn't work out that way tonight. So here am I. Somebody shout amen. But God's a good God. Amen. Amen. How many of he's an awesome good God tonight? Amen. Amen. While you remain standing tonight, just turn around and shake four or five hands. Tell somebody, say, show sure is good to see you in the house of the Lord tonight. Amen. Give me a kid, G. Hallelujah. Amen. Tell somebody, God bless you tonight. Amen. We'll see the bright light shine. It's just about home time. I can't see my father standing. He's at the door. This old world has been a wilderness. I'm ready for deliverance. Lord, I've never been this home. Take me home. We'll see the bright light shine. It's just about whole time. And I can see my father standing. He's at the door. home sit before everybody sing with me we'll see the bright light shine it's just about home time and i can't see my father standing he's at the door In this home, seek me for. Give God one more shout of praise. Come on. Again, make it sound like church in here tonight. Come on, make it sound like church. Hallelujah. Well, let me know he's an awesome God tonight. Amen. Amen. Remain standing reading of the Word of God tonight. Amen. Daniel, if you'll put up on the on the board Romans 8 tonight. Amen. I don't know everybody done knows this, but verse number 28, Romans 8 and verse 28 to start with. Amen. This is what, uh, amen. Somebody shout, God's good. When the Lord told the Apostle Paul, through the Apostle Paul, be instant in season, out of season. That's what you got to be. Somebody shout amen. Let me know he's an awesome God. God. Tell your neighbor God knows what he's doing. Amen. How many loves the Lord tonight? Let me see your hands. How many of y'all love the Lord tonight? See, love just don't change because thing. If love's real, it's still, it's still there. How many of y'all love the Lord tonight? Say that, say that with me. I love the Lord. Say it again. Say it again. I believe you just made the devils tremble right there. Somebody shout amen. Amen. He's an awesome good God tonight. Amen. Awesome good God. And um, amen. Let, let's read this. And everybody knows this scripture. But you know, sometimes we, we think we know, but, and we may know it. And we may even quote it by heart, but do we know the depths of it? See, the depth's what makes all the difference. Somebody shout amen. Amen. And when I seen Brother Ernie and different ones that, but you know, praise the Lord, when they're just not enabled, as Sister Pam did and Sister Jean Brock did and six different ones have, amen. When you do that, amen, Sister Jean, yeah, amen. When you, when you praise the Lord regardless, amen, it, it, it affects heaven, it affects earth, it affects the spiritual realm. How many believes that tonight? Let's just read this scripture right quick. I'm not going to preach to you long tonight. Amen. I may preach four hours. Who knows? By the time I get out of here. Not aiming to. And we know that all things. Everybody say all things. All, say it again. Now this wasn't pre-planned. This is just what God just fell out of heaven to me upon. We know that all things work together for good. Tell your neighbor, it's, it, it's, it's working good for me. I don't see it. I said it's still working. And it's working good. To them that love God, my God, 
to them who are the called according to his purpose. My God. We can stop there and preach the rest of the night right there. I, I, won't, I won't read that again. We know that all things work together. Read, just read it with me. We know that all things. How many of y'all love him tonight? To them who are the what? I've been called. According to what? Not my purpose. Now this is where we get everything mixed up at. Amen. It's not looking like for my good. But it's working out for the glory of God. Somebody shout amen. For the glory of God. When the man was, amen, born blind and the disciples came to Jesus and said, Who did sin, him or his parents? He said, Neither his parents and neither did this baby sin, but it's to the glory of God. Somebody shout amen. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. Next verse, Daniel. i got to hurry on this. My, my, my. For whom he did foreknow, he also predestinate. Amen. God made everything. Amen. It's all in control with God to be conformed to the image of his son, that he might be the what? The firstborn among many brethren. Next verse. Amen. Moreover, whom he did predestinate or call or choose. Amen. Then he also called. To whom he called, then he also justified. Tell your neighbor, I'm justified. Come on. Tell your neighbor again, I'm justified. I'm not justified in my good works or anything about it. I'm justified by his blood tonight. Then he also he glorified. Amen. Woo, glory. What shall we say to these things? Tell your neighbor, what shall we say to these things? If God, read with me. If God be for us. Read that again. Read that again. Back it up. Amen. Read it again, church. My God, think about it. Well, I know that. No, I, I, I want you to understand that. What shall we say to these things? If God, if the Lord died for you while you was in your sins, you think God ain't for you now? Somebody shout amen. 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 Now, let's go to the next verse. A couple more verses and we're going to be done. He that spareth not his own son, but delivered him up for us all, how shall he not with him, him also freely give us, somebody shout, all things. Amen. Amen. Everything what we need. Who shall lay anything to the charge of God's elect? It is God that justifies. Satan can't charge you with nothing. You've been, you've been set free. When he hollered, it was finished, it was paid, it was put over the door, redeemed. Amen. Hallelujah. Who is he that condemneth? It is Christ that died, yet rather that is risen again. Who is even at the right hand of God who also maketh intercession for us? My God, i got to hurry. Who shall separate us from the love? Amen. Shall tribulation, distress, persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or peril, or sword? It is written, for thy sake we are killed all the day long. We are counted as sheep for the slaughter. Somebody shout amen. In the world's eyes we are nothing but in the eyes of God. Nay, in all of these things we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. Now, amen, I'm glad he did not say that I'm more than a conqueror because I love him. It's because he loved me. Somebody shout Amen. I can't do anything for God to love me. God made the choice to love me. Can I get a witness in here tonight? Tell your neighbor, God made a choice to love me. God made a choice to love me when I was unlovable. God made a choice to love me. Love is a choice. <laughs> well, glory. Amen. But God's good. Amen. Again tonight, Brother Don, say the prayer of the reading of the word.
Tell your neighbor before you're seated, nay, in all these things, we're more than conquerors through him that loved us. Daniel, go back to verse 28, and you may be seated with a shout of praise on your heart and lips. Come on. Verse 28. I want you to read this with me. Amen. It's good spirit in here tonight. God's moving in here tonight. Sister Jean done said it a while ago. It's not, amen. God moves by many. God can move by few. Amen. All it takes is two or three gathered together in his name. Amen. Tonight's a good night for Brother Ernie Bell to get healed. I mean completely healed. Sister Helen, hallelujah. If you've got a need tonight, amen. Brother Dan Little, amen. Amen. God, amen. It don't, amen. Brother Ronnie said, amen, amen, he didn't feel good on the Thursday, amen, still in that pain, but by Friday morning it was gone by the grace of God, amen. That's the power of the Holy Ghost. Can I get a witness in the house? Amen. I want to preach a few minutes tonight. Would you read this scripture with me one more time and lift your voices? And we know, read. You love God, Brother Jason Popwell. You love God, Sister Shirley. You love God, Sister Jean. Danny Joe, you love God. You love God, Sister Pam. You love God, Brother Jeff. How many of y'all love God in here? Now, how many of y'all know I can preach and I can jump benches and I can, you know, I, I don't have to prove nothing? Huh? So I want you to look at your neighbor one more time and say, well, all things. I don't care what it is, what goes on, God's done orchestrated it for you. Somebody shout amen. I want to begin to bring out some things tonight that God shared with me. And God spoke to me, amen, these things. And I just put it together just in a matter of minutes, amen. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor that God is limitless, amen. The love of God reaches beyond where sin abounds, amen. Can I get a witness in the house? No matter what the devil's trying to bring against you, God is still for you tonight. The devil will lie to you and tell you that God's not on your side, but God's on the side of the right. Amen. You his child tonight. Somebody shout, you his child tonight. Amen. I'm his child tonight. Amen. By the grace of God. Hallelujah. The preacher's in here without me tonight. Amen. Give God one more shout of praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God, I praise you for the anointing of the Holy Ghost tonight. I praise you for the power of God of your word tonight. Amen. Tell your neighbor, if God be for me tonight, who can be against me? Amen. Oh, hallelujah. I see that tonight. With God, there is no boundaries tonight. With God, there's not a situation, amen, that he ain't able to take control of tonight. Tell your neighbor, if God be for me, uh, who can be against me tonight? Amen. Daniel, if you'll go to Genesis chapter number 20, or chapter 50, excuse me. Amen. Genesis chapter number 50 and verse 20. Amen. Here was a young man by the name of Joseph, and Joseph loved the Lord. Amen. He was a favorite, and God honored Joseph because of his heart. Somebody shout amen. But Joseph was going to get a, 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 in a hard place. Amen. God visited Joseph in dreams. God visited Joseph, amen, and with understanding, and he saw these things. Amen. He saw the sun bow to him and the moon and, and the stars, amen, which represented his family. Amen. And, amen. Joseph wore the coat of many colors, and Joseph thought everything is, is just going to be great. Amen. Somebody shout amen. But he had 11 brothers uh, that did not like him. Raise your hand. If God is for you, uh, you're going to have a devil against you. I said, if, you, if God be for you, you're going to have a lot of devils against you. <laughs> huh? Oh, God, I'm preaching good right now. Tell your neighbor, if God be for you, uh, you're going to have adversity against you. And sometimes it comes in plagues. Sometimes it comes at a time that we don't know what to do. Amen. And Joseph one day, amen, going down to check on his brethren to tell his dad about them. And amen, they call him a tattletale. They call him a dreamer. Amen. And Joseph, amen, maybe, amen, didn't do, amen, with his brothers. There was jealousy and strife. Amen. He got down there one day and all of a sudden uh, his brother said, let's kill him. 
But another brother spoke up his room and said, let's don't kill him. He's our brother. Amen. Here comes a band of Ishmaelites. Uh, let's just sell him. Uh, amen. Get a little money. Amen. Take his coat. Put blood on it. Tell her father he's dead. Uh, and we'll be rid of Joseph and he's still alive. But God's still got a plan. If God be for you, who can be against you? My God, tell somebody. If God be for you, who can be against you? Had 11 brothers against him. Uh, they sold him. Uh, he went into Egypt uh, bound as a slave. Uh, they sold him on the auction block uh, as a slave. Uh, one of the mightiest men in Egypt bought him uh, by the name of Potiphar. Uh, amen. He took him home, uh, but God was with him. Uh, somebody shout, God was with him. Anybody hear me tonight? Uh, you may be in distress, uh, but God is with you tonight. If God be for you, who can be against you? Uh, everything can, uh, but in the end, God uh, is going to turn it around for you. Anybody really believe that tonight? I'm not trying to hype you up. I'm not trying to tell you something, uh, amen, a fairy tale. I'm telling you in the midst of your hardships. When you're crying and you cry for days and you're hurt, you feel abandoned, you feel let down, you feel disappointed, you feel like, God, I don't, I don't know. I, I have a lot of questions and I don't have any answers. That got off quite on me. Huh? You know, everything was going good, and thank God, and things looking up, and all of a sudden you find yourself being sold. Sold out. Now you stand in a strange land. Nobody knows you. You don't know nobody. You don't understand what they're saying. And they don't understand what you're saying. My God, that'd be a difficult place to be. Have you ever talked to somebody and they talk to you for 30 minutes and you hang, and you hang up the phone or walk away and think, you're thinking, have I lost it or was it them? Anybody ever been there? Somebody shout, God be for me. Somebody shout, God be for me. Joseph got down there in Egypt. I don't know how God was with him. I don't understand this thing. It had to be a terrible night. It had to be a time of, amen, of, of, of great fear to a point. Amen, a great unsettledness, a, 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 a great time of, a, 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 of misunderstanding. And amen, the Bible said uh, when Joseph got down there and Potiphar bought him and brought him to his house, and amen, and little by little, amen, amen, God began to work with Joseph. Uh, and the Bible says the Lord was with Joseph. My God, somebody ought to shout amen. I don't care where I got to be just as long as the Lord's with me. Well, anybody hear just what I said there? If God is with me, amen, that's all. It's going to work out if God's with me. Huh? I said it'll work out somehow. You may have to wipe some tears. You may have to rechange the furniture. Huh? You may have to go through things that you didn't understand. But if you see God's hand still there, and the Lord was with him. And then you know the story. Amen. Potiphar, after a while, said, Man, amen. Everything you touch is blessed. I'm just going to turn the whole house over to you. Oh, hallelujah. Somebody shout, Amen. You're back on the mountaintop again. My God, somebody shout, Amen. Then the next thing you know, amen, he's having trouble, amen, with Potiphar's wife, amen. Next thing you know through the lie, amen, the deception of Potiphar's wife, he finds himself uh, in a prison dungeon, uh, amen, with a lie sentence. Uh, he'll never get out, uh, amen. And the Bible says in Psalms 105, uh, I believe in verse 7 or so there, uh, amen, that the iron hurt his feet. Uh, it came into him. Uh, my God, somebody ought to shout yes in here, amen. He had a difficult time. The feathers hurt him. The chains hurt him. He was up. Now he's down again. But if God be for me, who can be against me tonight? My God, somebody. And when I can't shout, God is still for me tonight. That ain't even the message yet. I just got to get to it. And I know all y'all know that. And you can shout at home in the bathroom over that. But I wouldn't even schedule to preach tonight. But God knows. Uh, 
God knows. Tell your neighbor, God knows. God knows. Joseph got down there and he got, how would you like to have a life sentence put on you? You're somewhere 20, 25 years old, somewhere in the neighborhood of 20 years old. And you're going to spend the rest of your life to the day you rot in a prison. You'll never live to be 50 or 60, but something in that prison will get you before that time. Hello. You realize they didn't have running water back them days? Huh? They didn't have hand wipes. Hello. You know where the commode was at? In the corner. Hello. And when it got so deep, they shoveled it out. Oh, shout now, somebody. <laughs> Hallelujah. Still the truth. Terrible place to be in, wasn't it? How could God be in a place like that? How could God be in a place with you like that right there? Amen. God said, I'll never leave you and I'll never forsake you. Amen. Come on, somebody. Give God a shout of praise in here. Amen. If somebody ever decides to love you, uh, amen, you ought to give God a shout of praise. Uh, and God said, I love you tonight uh, with an everlasting love. Uh, somebody ought to give God a shout. Amen. Come on, give God a shout of praise. Hallelujah. Joseph got down there and finally, watch this, as he got into the jail, they chained him to the wall. His feet swelled, his body, amen. It's untelling how, what kind of diet that he had. Everything was against jo uh, uh, Joseph. Uh, but here's the point I want to say. If God be for you, who can be against you? Raise your hands and shout. If God be for me. I can't hear you tonight. Uh, shout it, if God be for me. Come on, tell your neighbor again, if God be for me. If God be for you, sugar diabetes is not your, amen, master. Come on, somebody. Cancer is not your master. Sin's not your master. The powers of hell's not your master. The devil's tricks is not your master. Because who the sun set free uh, is still free indeed. Uh, son, you're free tonight. Uh, amen. Because God set you free. Uh, the church didn't do it. Uh, Wayne Keith didn't do it. Uh, if God be for you, I said, who can be against you tonight? Tell your name of God be for you. Thank you, son. Hallelujah. Get ready. I'll use you again. Somebody shout hallelujah. If God be for you, who can be against you? Come on, tell your neighbor again. I just got to get to the good part here. Amen. God's a good God. Tell your neighbor God's a good God tonight. Amen. Amen. Got down there. And then you're going to find out. Amen. Let me see if I can find it for you. Amen. God's a mighty good God. Whoa, tell your neighbor God is a mighty good God tonight. Mm, I said, God's a mighty good God. Come on, give him a shout of praise, would you? Come on, give him a shout of praise. Hallelujah. Daniel, would you go to the book of Acts, chapter number 7, amen, and verse number 9. Amen. Acts chapter number 7 and verse number 9. We'll come back to that one just in a minute. Amen. I got something going to preach to you for about 15 minutes. Tell your neighbor, are you ready to have a little church now? Because you don't know where you're going to wind up tomorrow. Two years ago tomorrow, about 6.30 in the afternoon, something terrible happened to Sister Jean and I. Two years ago on a Wednesday night, I didn't know that would happen on a Thursday. But God did. Somebody shout Amen. By 9 o'clock, 9.30, we were somewhere in, on the route to, or in Lexington, Kentucky, not knowing what in the world would happen next. Somebody shout amen. Didn't know if both of her legs would be amputated. Amen. We didn't know what was going to happen. Amen. They didn't even know for sure. You understand what I'm telling you tonight? But God's still a good God. I said he's a good God. He's a good God. And if God be for you, And the patriarchs, that was the 11 sons of Joseph, or Jacob, moved with envy and sold Joseph into Egypt. But tell your neighbor, God was with him. Let me tell you, when God's with you, you're the winner. My God, somebody ought to shout hallelujah. 
I said, amen, if God was with you, you may be in Egypt, you may be in a place that you don't want to be, but God is still with you by the grace of God. You don't want to be where some of you at tonight, but God is with you. Uh, amen, Brother Ernie Bell, you're fighting cancer, but God is still with you. Brother Barney, you're fighting your pro problems and your battle, but God is with you tonight. Brother Jason, God is with you tonight. Raise your hand and shout, God uh, is with us tonight. And if God be for you, who can be against you? Would you give him a shout of praise tonight? night. Amen. Now go back to verse of uh, Genesis 50 and verse 20. Amen. Tell your neighbor, oh, look what the Lord is doing. Now, amen. I know this will scare some of you to death, but don't let it. Joseph went into Egypt at 17 years old. And for 13 years, oh, God. Whew. I mean, it went from bad to worse and from worse to <laughs> worse. Yes, worse, sir. Got down there and the God was with him. Finally, the jailer said, Oh, just take care of the jail. I ain't going to worry about it. You do a better job being the jailer than I do. Somebody shout, Amen. How come he did? Because God was with him. Amen. Can I preach a while longer? Amen. Got down there and then one day, Amen, the butler and the baker got put in jail because Pharaoh didn't like them. Amen. They'd done something wrong and he put them in jail. Amen. And the butler and the baker both had dreams. And one of them had the dream. The baker had the dream. Amen. And the butler had the dream. And amen. God, amen. Joseph said, uh, amen. The, amen to the butler. Amen. God's going to restore you back. Amen. Pharaoh's going to want you back. Uh, amen. And boy, he was tickled to death. The baker got all excited and got to shout a little too. I want to tell you my dream. He said, I had food on my head. I had bread on my head. He said, the birds come and picked it. Joseph looked at him and said, <clears throat> seven days or so, what is God going to take, Pharaoh's going to take your head off. What would make you want to, wouldn't it? Somebody shout amen. The next thing you know, it happened. The, amen, the butler was restored back. Amen, the baker had lost his life. Amen. And Joseph said, please don't forget me. Tell Pharaoh I've been here unjustly. Tell Pharaoh about me. Tell him, amen. And the butler forgot about him. But God's still working a plan. If God be for you, who can be against you? Amen. All things work together for good to them that love the Lord. I don't understand it. Amen. I don't understand it. Shout to your neighbor. All things work together. Amen. Shout it again. All things work together. I've got to hurry here. All things work together. Anybody feel the Lord in this house tonight? I said all things work together tonight. Amen. And then we go on down the street there. You, you know all that story. I'm sure you've heard it many times. Amen. We're going down the street there. Amen. And Joseph's still in jail. And one night, God says, enough is enough. You can't believe in some ways. And some of you have been there. But here's the thing. I want you to understand something. God, come here, sir. Can I use you a minute? Come here, brother Jason. I'll use you too, buddy. Come here. Y'all sit down here. Give, me, give, give a space in between you. I, I, I don't know some things about you. I don't know some things about you. I don't. I don't. But here's the thing that God has allowed me to do. Sometimes God takes me and he sets me down in those places right with you. And I sit right there. And I feel what you feel. I hurt like you hurt. Now, I don't understand this sometimes. God, I got quiet in here. We could get a war for being quiet. I'm going to shout amen. And because if I don't know how you feel, I can't help you get out of where you're at. Somebody shout amen. Did you sit there for a minute, boys? I don't like where y'all sitting at. I wish y'all would move. <laughs> Somebody said, huh? See, God did Ezekiel that way. One time he got him by the hair of the head. That'd be a rough drive, wouldn't it? Somebody shout amen. And he sat down and he let him sit down where they sat. Let him feel what they felt. Then Ezekiel knew how to preach to him. 
and how to help them and to tell them what they needed to bring them out of that place. Tell your neighbor, God wants to bring you out of that place. Amen. And one day, Pharaoh had a dream. All of his astrologers and all of his magicians and all of his wise men, amen, he told them the dream and he couldn't understand the dream. They didn't know what to do about it. They couldn't, they couldn't reveal it. Amen. They saw, saw seven, saw seven fat cows. Amen. And those great fat cows, plump and, and luscious and, and, and well-favored cows. And then there were seven scrawny cows and seven ill-favored cows. And they looked so bad. And they were just, just eat up with, with, with drought. And next thing you know, those seven bad cows, ill-favored cows, eat the, five, or eat the seven good cows. And they didn't know they even ate them. There were stalks of corn the same route. And nobody could figure it out. And they said, and the butler said, Oh, wait a minute. There was a man down in jail. If God be for you, who can be against you? Tell your neighbors not over till it's over. My God, it ain't over till it's over. Hallelujah. I said, it ain't over till it's over. Amen. And they called and they got Joseph out. They shaved him. Uh, they put a clean raiment on him. Uh, and he appeared before the king. Uh, amen. He told the, the king told the dream. Uh, and he said, oh, king, this is the dream. Uh, you're going to have seven years of plenteous uh, like you ain't never had in your life. Uh, it's going to be an abundance overflowing. Uh, but there's coming a famine after seven years. Uh, and it's going to eat up everything that was ever good. Uh, and you'll never know there was a blessing. Uh, but God said, uh, woo. Get you a man that knows how to provide and appoint him, and he'll be the man that'll govern. Oh, God, somebody ought to shout yes. You better be glad you got somebody in the time of famine that knows what to do in the time of plenty. You ever been in a famine and yet the preacher come in and preach to you and keep you alive? Huh? That's pretty good preaching. Not to be studied, I know it, but anyway, somebody shout amen. Here's the thing with all this. Raise your hand and say, if God be for me. Come on, say it again. Come on, say it again. Can God be for you when you're looking down at an old, deep, dark grave? Can God be for you when you're laying in a bed of affliction? Can you? Can God be for you when you're so messed up you don't know if what to do? Huh? Can God be for you when you got a knife in you? Told Sue Gina I said, man, we wasn't planning on preaching. I said, but man, my spirit. I said, don't know. Anybody been there? Feel like I was leaping tall buildings and same time I was on the basement. Still preaching to somebody in here. And uh Joseph said, find you a man that can take care of this land for seven years and gather in because seven years is coming that you ain't going to have nothing. See, there's a time in your life you have famines. That's why it's good to be here on Wednesday night because somewhere down the road you're going to need it. If it's a Friday night some, or Thursday night or every when it is. Somebody shout amen. amen. Now watch this. I'm, about, I'm, I'm almost done with the whole message. I want to bring this into you. See, there's times. And I want and desire a move of God all the time. I want God moving. I want the church to be on fire. I'm going to share, share my heart. I don't usually do that, but amen. I want you to want revival like I do. I 
I want you to want the move of God that is exciting to go to church. Not because somebody can entertain you, but because of the presence of God. And you want to be thankful. Can I preach to you just a minute? See, that's what I want. That, 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 that keeps me going. Because, amen, it keeps a fire in my soul. God, I want you to move. God, I want you to move. Because maybe you need it tonight. You might need it tomorrow night. Somebody shout amen. Amen. How many of y'all want a revival? I do ask you, begin to pray, amen, that God would use Brother Bachelor, amen, as, as our evangelist. Amen, I'm your pastor. But, amen, we got apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, teachers. Ask God, amen, get a concern for that revival Saturday night, the 21st, and Sunday morning, Sunday night, and see the power of God fall in this house in a way that when we leave here on a Sunday night, we'll say, my God, look what God wanted to do. Somebody shout amen. Amen. Hallelujah. If you've got to play with the kids, play with them on Friday night, don't Saturday night. Somebody shout amen. Well, I'm going to preach on a while. <laughs> I love the Lord. Somebody shout amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm bold as a lion when I'm behind this pulpit. Amen. Because God give me something. Amen. The devil don't like. Amen. And jo amen. And Joseph looked at Pharaoh, the mighty, um, uh, mighty power of Egypt, and said, find you a man. Find you somebody that knows how to do this. Amen. You know what? Joseph didn't even volunteer. That'd been most of us. We'd have had, yoo <laughs> Said, find you a man. Pharaoh was smart enough. He said, listen, if God gave you that, and you know what it all means, you know how to take care of it. And he goes from a pit to a slave boy to a prisoner, who, oh my God, to a place. He's what you would call vice president. What's, it called? What's his name? Zaphanaphania. Pharaoh gives him a name, Zaphanaphania. Amen. When I first seen that, I didn't spell it right. <laughs> Somebody shout amen and made him only. Amen. Joseph is now second in command, and the only place that Pharaoh is more powerful than Joseph is is when he's sitting on the throne, uh, amen, as being the king of Egypt. But when, amen, they're riding down the street, uh, they're co equal. Somebody shout yes. I'm talking about if God, if he be for you. It may be the night season, uh, but Brother Ernie Bell, I believe the mornings are coming uh, by the power of the Holy Ghost. Uh, does anybody here uh, get out of here, you powers of hell? Uh, you've done everything you can. Uh, but tonight by the anointing of God you're going to leave here defeated in the name of Jesus by the power of an almighty God well come on stand to your feet and give God one more shout of praise give him a praise like you mean it tonight Hallelujah. If God be for you, who can be against you? Uh, amen. And brother, uh, he got on that throne. Uh, amen. After 13 years, uh, his brother showed him. They laughed at him. They scoffed him. They mocked him. Uh, but one day they walked into Egypt uh, and they bowed down uh, just like God said they would. Somebody shout yes. God is always right. I may be wrong, but God's right. They bowed before him and didn't know Zephanaphania. But under Zephanaphania was a little boy uh, that grew up into a man uh, that God's hand was upon. Uh, and his name was Joseph. Uh, and one day he revealed his identity to him. Uh, it scared him to death. Uh, the family came in. Uh, the daddy died. Uh, and the brothers thought uh, he'll kill us now since daddy died. Uh, but amen. They come to him and try to repent uh, and all these things. Uh, but he said to them boys, uh, you thought. Uh, but as for you... Uh, you thought evil against me. That devil say, I got you. I got you. But God meant it good. I say, God meant it good. Somebody ought to shout, God means it good. Against it all. Against the powers of hell. If God be for you, who can be against you? Come on and give God a shout of praise in here. As I close, tell your neighbor, God means it good tonight. Satan means to throw you on the bus. Satan means to get you to the point that you quit believing God. Satan gets you to the place that you holler, I just don't know no more. Somebody shout amen. But God said, if 
I be for you, God's for you. That makes you a winner. It makes you the winner. Jeff Strebel, you're the winner. By the grace of God. Raise your hand and shout, I'm the winner tonight. I'm the winner. When I was lost and undone, and I was dying in sin, God was for me. I don't know what this means to you tonight, but God just give me this message. Amen. God just give it to me just in a matter of moments. Amen. And brought all these scriptures to me. Amen. When I realized I, I was going to have to minister tonight. And I didn't know I was going to have to minister until I was in the prayer room. Somebody shout amen. But God is good. You thought it evil against me. I've seen it happen over and over and over. People mean things evil against you. But God said, he meant it good. It didn't look good, did it? Nothing, you know, we don't stand some things. I'm not advocating anything wrong. What I'm just saying is God's able to take that which is wrong and make something good out of it and turn it around by his grace and his mercy. As I get ready to close tonight, they come back to the music. Tell you and they remain standing if you like, please. As you thought it evil against me, but God meant it good. You know how come? To save you alive, to save you and keep you. By the grace of an almighty God. Somebody raise your hands and love him tonight. Somebody raise your hands and love him. Come on, raise your hands and love him. Come on, raise your hands and love him right now all over this building, would you? Just love him for a minute. Somehow. Somehow. Raise your hands and say somehow. Maybe may may be out of a prison house. He may be out of cancer. I don't know. Let me share this with you for just 30 seconds. Today, Brother Jay Day, I'm talking to him. He said, my neighbor is real sick. He had to go to the hospital Saturday afternoon. Sugar, close to 1,000, 800, 950 of what it was. His kidneys are failing him. And they're begging him to go on Dallas. He's going to die if he doesn't. They put him in the hospital Saturday afternoon. The man's wife had died about five years ago. He has a little Dotson dog. Is that the little hot dog, Dotson? Little Dotson dog, and that dog sits in his lap most all day. That dog has become his life. When they took him to the hospital, something happened to the dog. He don't know, they don't know what happened. They don't know if. If the dog missed the man so bad, he didn't know what. And the vet diagnosed the dog as having strokes. And the man came home yesterday, the best that I remember, best I can yesterday. And the little dog laid there lifeless, just a painting so hard. <laughs> That's what Brother Jay told me. Just gasping for breath. The man and his daughter called the veterinarian today. And the vet said, I'll be at your house because they've been sick and everything. I'll be at your house at 530 this evening to put the dog down. The little dog... They tried to feed the little dog today, tried to give him water. They stood him up in his water bowl. He fell in his water bowl and got even choked, couldn't even drink water. Couldn't stand up to even drink water. Hadn't drunk or eaten anything for days. The little dog. The man was literally in disarray. He was hurting because of his dog. I understand that, okay? That's all he had. Somebody shout Amen. That's all he had. Brother Jay said, I don't know what's going to happen this evening. This is about 1.30, 2 o'clock in the afternoon. He said, I don't know what's going to happen at 5.30. He said, I believe that man will give up when they put that dog to sleep. He said, I don't know if the man is saved or not for sure. And he said, I've been trying to reach that man. He said, he went to church. His mother was a preacher. He said, I'm, I'm not sure where he's at with God right now. 
He said, pray that I can help that man. He said, would you pray for that man? And would you pray for his dog? And I said, yes, I will, Brother Jay. I'll pray for God to touch that man. And I'll pray for God to touch that dog. Now you, this is going to cost the world. You can laugh about it if you like, but it don't really matter. It doesn't come too late for some things. <laughs> and this evening at 530, the veterinarian pulled in the, into the driveway. The man got up and walked outside on his back porch because he didn't want to watch the veterinarian put the little dog down. The daughter had the little dog in her hands. And at 5.30 or 5.33, when she laid that little dog down, the man walked out to not see that be done. That little pup, that little dog, jumped up. Ran out that door and run around that man's feet. And Brother Jay said, I was standing in my back porch watching the man on the back porch. And he said, I seen a little old dog running around. He said, That cannot be. I believe his name was Lincoln. He said, That can't be Lincoln. He calls me back and he said, you're not going to believe this. He said, they're having a party over there right now. Now, I don't have all the answers. I can't tell you why God healed that dog. The veterinarian said something else, but I'm just going to give God the praise. If the dog's dead before morning, I'll give God praise. Somebody shout amen. And he said that dog was up and running and just going around. And he said, that man was minor in disbelief. And he said, you just ain't going to believe this, Brother Wayne. Now, I'm just going to tell you this. There's a time to live and there's a time to die. There's a time to laugh and there's a time to cry. I've got a point in time. I've got a number of days. God can extend my days. Somebody shout amen. Or you can shorten your days according to Scriptures. Somebody shout amen. Loving your mommy and daddy can lengthen your days according to scriptures and with a promise. But anyhow, go on past all that. But I said, God, if you touch that little dog, I came back over to this church. I said, God, I called your names out, Sister Jean Brock, Brother Ernie, several of y'all in here, I called your names. And I ask God to put a fire in every one of our souls. That might not mean much to nobody, but I know God touched that little dog. Somebody shout amen. I know the little dog will die sometime, but I understand that also. But today, God spared that dog's life for that man's sake. I believe that. Somebody shout amen. Now I've got another, I got a Bible to back part of this up on this. Epaphroditus got real sick running for the Lord. Going on missionary trips for Paul. And Paphroditus was going to die. And it was bothering Paul real, real bad. And God touched Paphroditus for Paul's sake. He said, Let there be sorrow added upon sorrow for me. Somebody shout, Amen. Now's the time you can touch the heart of God with the hurt that you have and the pain that you have and the situation you're in. You touch the heart of God that moves the hand of God. And when the hand of God moves, something will change. Somebody shout amen. And I want to touch the heart of God. I want to touch the heart of God for Brother Ernie Bell, for Brother Robert. 
and said, Gene Brock. For anybody else, Brother Dan Little. God, I wish he, he man, he could give away, he depend on that old wheelchair anymore. That's not too hard for God. I'm going to shout amen. But one day them kidneys just start working right again. Just because the hand of God moved. I believe that stuff. If I didn't believe that stuff, I'd jump off the cliff. Somebody shout amen. He's a good God. And tonight I want you right now just to raise your hands all over this building. I want you to ask you to just say, God, I'm going to touch your heart. God, if I can touch your heart, you'll move with your hand. God, as you did for Paul and Paphroditus, as you did, God, I ask you to touch right now by the mighty hand of God in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Would you raise your hands up? Come on and just talk to him. Come on, lift your voices. You can just say, God, for Brother Dan, for Brother Robert, God, for Sister Carol, Brother Ernie, Sister Jean, Sister Helen, for Sister Ruby Starnes, God, and those that are so sick, God, and to those that need a stirring, and God, to those that need a miracle. Father, by the power of God, come on, reach out to him right now for just a minute. Right, God's for you, son. He'll take everything that meant evil. Satan means it evil, but God will make good out of it. <laughs> That's the goodness of God. Somebody shout amen. Come on, would you love him tonight? Lord, I can't even walk. Brother Ernie, would you come on down too? Push Brother Dan over, would you? Anybody else sitting here that needs a touch of God? Anybody else sick in here? You just need a touch of Sister Rachel. Anybody else? Anybody else? Stand in for Robert. Even walk without you hold. He fails to have all these prayed for, and he's going to take the flag. It don't matter what it looks like, no matter what it feels like, it's what's right, what God's obedience. Father, for Brother Ernie Bale, for Brother Robert, for Sister Jean Brock, Sister Rachel, God, for this sugar. Father, by the power of the Holy Ghost. Father, by the power of an almighty God. In the name of Jesus. Can't even walk without you holding. Jesus. Lord, I can't in the name of Jesus. Without you holding my hand. Number one would surely be me. Could be. What I want him to be. Come on, would you love him? Come on, there's a presence of God in this building right now. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Thank you for it tonight, Father. Would you raise your hands on this tabernacle right now? Come on. Come on. I thank God that there's a miracle in here tonight. There's a miracle in here tonight. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus.
name of Jesus. The mountains to In the name of Jesus. Come on, love him one more time. Lord, I can't even walk without you holding my hand. The mountains to hide yes, and the valleys to hide. you to raise your hands and say, Lord, I believe this thing right now. I believe God just moves for some people in this building right now by his mighty hand and his mighty power. God, I thank you for it right now. Sister Jean Brock, I just believe God lengthened your days. You'll say that every day. God, you give me more days. What the devil meant for evil, God means for good tonight. In the name of Jesus. What the devil meant for evil. God going to mean it for good. I want you to raise your hand and say there's something special. You, how many can feel it? It's special in here tonight. It's special. It's special. Come on, love him just for a moment. Just for a moment. Just for a moment. Thank you, Lord. Come on, just love him. Come on, just love him. How many of us will really give God some really, I mean, radical, dedicated praise? Not only when he does it or when we see the manifestation of it, but we'll just break through the heavens and praise him already for what he's done for us because God loves us tonight. Come on. God loves us tonight. I say God loves us tonight. Hallelujah. You know, the emotions is one thing, but I felt the touch of God. I felt the strength of God. I felt the strength of God. Amen. I, I said, Judy, I felt the strength of God. Amen. Brother Ernie Bell. Amen. I got a couple jobs I need you to do. <laughs> Somebody shout amen. <laughs>